So we've looked at the My Money Expenses section where you essentially add your out-of-pocket costs into Free Agent and you can then repay yourself for those once the company has the money. So the next section we're going to look at is My Money Dividends. I'm going to click on that and as you may have guessed there is no dividends showing right now because there's nothing in the banking section and that's the only way we can pay ourselves dividends. So when we do set up a transfer to ourselves for a dividend payment we can allocate it correctly in the banking section and then it'll show up on here and it'll also have a dividend voucher which you can print off as a PDF if you wanted to or if you needed that evidence for something such as mortgages and you can also track you'll see here it's called dividends for tax year 1920 so you can also track the dividends for each tax year that you were receiving them so it'll give you an overall total of how much you've taken so far and that lets you easily keep track of how close you are to hitting the higher rate tax threshold for example and the other section in my money is salary so if you haven't already guessed my money is all the forms of payments that you can make to yourself so a payment of your expenses a payment for your dividend and a payment of your salary so if you click into salary of course there's nothing in here again because we haven't actually created any kind of salary or payroll profile for us to actually pay that out but when it is listed here there will be pay slips that you can actually click into and save a copy as well if you need that for something so you can actually get proper pay slips through free agent as well and when a pay slip is generated it'll add to the money owed to you when you pay yourself from the business account and you correctly explain that in the banking tab it'll show as paid as well so the balance will update based on how much salary has been run and how much salary you have paid yourself so if this balance is zero that means you are not owed any further salary and you've correctly paid yourself the exact amount that was run if it's a negative balance then you owe the company money if it's positive balance then you haven't taken enough salary or you just haven't paid yourself salary yet so this is an easy way to keep track of what's owed to you and finally we have the payroll section so this is where we will actually set up your payroll profile once we decide on the best strategy to go with okay I have set up my payroll profile randomly here and just to give you a demonstration of what the salary looks like so I've set up payroll for myself for this month 719 pounds monthly to go out and if we go back to my money salary we can actually see the payslip for myself for this amount and now my balance owed is 719 pounds and again you can click on this here to view your payslip and that covers the my money tab now if we go back to the overview page after having added all of that information in you can see some things have changed so for example our expenses are now listed here as totals so the total balance has changed our expenses have also increased because of the salary that I run for myself and the profit figure has also been updated with the corporation tax leaving me with about a thousand pounds left to take as dividends so as you can see when I am updating free agent everything on here is changing as we go and that's to make sure it's always the most up-to-date and the most accurate when you actually take money out